morning everyone uh, today we're going to do a little shop talk and uh, about uh, brakes for uh, bikes and stuff so these are on my recumbent trikes uh, but this will transfer over to mountain bikes and road bikes and any uh, brake uh, bike that uses uh, disc brake mechanical we're going to talk about mechanical over here we got some Hope Hydraulics, we'll talk about that. And we're also going to talk about uh, drum brakes as well. I have experience with uh, pretty much all the different types of brakes. Uh, V-brakes, uh, U-brakes, uh, cantilever, you name it, uh, I've had it. Been cycling for 40 years or more. So, but uh, today's topic will be uh, hydraulic versus mechanical versus drum brakes. We'll start off with drum brakes. I currently uh, sold my Green Speed Arrow, which had drum brakes on it. had a 90 millimeter stump, stumpy archers, I think that's how you pronounce it. And in comparison to uh, out of all three brakes, I thought it was... Uh, the weakest had adequate stopping uh, power. Um, all three can stop you, it's just how they do it. That's the question and what uh, I'm gonna try to answer for you today is um, how each brake system uh, works the best as I can. So the drum brakes, um, uh, some of the pluses are they're quiet, low, uh, typically low maintenance. Uh, some of the negative is they're heavy, um, don't uh, stop quite as well in my opinion. More of a uh, soft uh, feeling break. They don't. They're not real. Uh, not as strong as the other types of. Uh, brakes um, and the uh, one that I used most recently was the Stumpy Archer 90 millimeter on the Green Speed Arrow so and then there was uh, also it heats up quite a bit you don't think of a dis uh, drum brake as running hot but if you go down a big enough hill and you're really hard on them they can uh, heat up quite a bit and uh, so, but they are uh, quite, fairly quiet, low maintenance, uh, also uh, low noise, like when they get wet and stuff, uh, I didn't experience any squealing. Now let's step over to the mechanicals, which is what's on this uh, trike here, my green, uh, Hornet trike, I call it, the Green Hornet. It's got BB7 mechanicals. Uh, some of the positives with that is they're uh, relatively easy to work on. Everybody that uh, can cut a cable and do a driller and that type of stuff has the tools, can do a uh, mechanical brake. They're very strong. They're uh, more kind of off or on. They don't have a lot of feel. To them, not as much as uh, a typical hydraulic brake. So the lever, when you squeeze it here, is it's more, you know, kind of on and off. It doesn't have that uh, nice feel that the hydraulics have. So it's easy to work on. They do make some noise typically when they're wet. Uh, all in each brake system uh, between the hydraulic, different types of hydraulics and depending on brake pads and all this and that will make uh, various amounts of noise when they get wet is what I've found so it depends on the brake compound and a lot of different factors the rotor um, type of rotor thickness and all this and that so uh, so the negative is I would say is a, a little lack of feel they are heavier uh, verse here my over here are my hope uh, 
I think they're the Hope Pro 2 or something. Uh, trying to think of the correct name for them. But they're uh, Hope's second uh, brake they ever, hydraulic brake they ever made. I've had them for about 15, 20 years at least. Been very good brake. I've used uh, Shimano, Hadley, or not Hadley, uh, Avid. Used probably half a dozen different kinds. So uh, right now I'm running uh, the Hope brakes and I've got them with the Hope lever there. There's the reservoir. What does it say on there? These use a uh, dot four uh, hydraulic fluid like what you run in the car, typically dot four, dot five. These say dot four. Over here I have something uh, a little bit different. I have the Hope uh, um, brake uh, ro uh, rotor as well, and that's 130, I saw, as well as the Hope Caliber. And I've uh, hooked them up also to an R1 Formula brake lever. I really liked them at the time. And so I made a combo of the uh, Formula One R1 brake lever made it to the uh, Hope and the Hope uh, disc brake. That they I got 130s even. That's 140. Pardon. That's a 140 rotor. Even with the 140 rotor, I find the Hope. Uh, Brakes really have a lot of power and stops it sufficiently. Uh, my wife rides this bike, she's about 90 pounds. And even when I ride it, I, it doesn't stop quite as well as the ones with the 160, which we have over there. Same system except uh, 160 rotors. So that stops very well out of all the bikes that I own. The Hope with the 160 rotors stopped the uh, the best, and I would say second would probably go to the Hope Formula One R1 levers with the 140 rotor, and then third would be the uh, BB7 uh, disc brakes. Although their uh, mechanical brakes are very uh, solid and good stoppers i have no problem they're, they're on my 4000 watt system the other two bikes are 3000 watts so uh don't really have a problem with them other than the lack of feel and they're a bit heavy and the levers are not quite as nice also you have uh i'm jumping around a lot here because different things come to mind but uh also, the uh, on a hydraulic, which we have over here, the pads are self-adjusting. I'm getting four to six years uh, out of these, uh, typically out of the pad life on the hopes. And I, and that for me anymore, I'm, that means about 30, 40,000 miles. So I use the metallic pad and uh, so they're working real well and last a long time and very strong. Uh, have no uh, issues with uh, brake uh, dra uh, drag or anything. I hope to have one of the, I'll see if I can pin it in here. I don't know if you can look down in there, but they have, um, I can't hardly get the camera, these aren't lined up, but they have the most clearance I've seen on any brake uh, uh, rotor and pad uh, system, they really have a lot of clearance between the uh, rotor, so they uh, have a lot of movement, so you're not very close. Now, the formulas were the opposite of that. When I ran the Formula R1s, they uh, very tight to the rotor, and if it wasn't absolute perfect, it would... Uh, you get some rubbing and drag on that so 
So that's kind of a, a take on uh, my take on uh, brakes. Uh, so the uh, we have the uh, hydraulic uh, type of, of brakes, various ones, and this applies uh, in general to most of them. Then we have the various mechanicals, which the Avid BB fives and sevens are some of the most popular. And uh, then we have the uh, drum brakes, uh, which have kind of gone out of favor. And a touch back to them, I mean, drum brakes used to be on all your cars, motorcycles back in the uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s, very you know popular. So it's technology has been around a long time, and also it's been you know proven over the years since that the hydraulic brakes. Now you buy a car, truck, or motor, uh, modern motorcycle, and uh, the brakes are, you know, almost always hydraulic uh, disc brakes on them. So it's a proven technology that's proven to be better. And I would say the same, you know, verse over mechanicals. Mechanicals are fine and a li little less fussy to work on, but takes more adjustment because the pads aren't self-adjusting. You have to turn these little dials on the side, these little red dials. On each side, there's a red dial. I'm trying to show it. And you, if you if you need a little more uh, pad uh, engagement, there you uh, turn one side or the other, depending on the gap in between the rotors, and that uh, makes the brake uh, pull uh, a little firmer and stuff. As long as it's not rubbing, you don't want to turn it so much, but you'll be able to see it once you uh, get them and adjust it. So that's how you adjust it. So even on a hard ride like I did this morning, I've come back and now I have this much play to the lever where these has never been adjusted. And it's the same thing. Uh, this has been on there four years and the pool is pretty much exactly the same where your mechanicals are, uh, takes much more of uh, frequent adjustments and stuff. They do work well, they do stop, and for the money, if money's an issue and you don't uh, feel like hassling with uh, brake lines and bleeding, then uh, the mechanical, uh, you know, I have no problem with recommending. It's very strong and simple to work on, but it is a little more, you know, you have to tweak it here and there a lot more frequently as much as every ride. Depends on how hard you ride the brakes. And so it's, again, it's uh, like most things in biking, it's application for what you're wanting to do, budget, application, and uh, the purpose. So money, no object. Uh, and you want pure performance in every category, weight, strength, e modulation. Uh, hydraulic uh, pretty much can't be beat. It's the king, in my opinion. And I would say second and, uh, up the line would be mechanical. And third would uh, be like the drum brakes and then everything else in behind there, V brakes. and side pull brakes and they're all very similar so and there may be a few other braking systems and things that i've left out because there's a been a lot tried and done in cycling over the years so it's hard to remember and to keep up with everything uh, but that's my take on uh, drum brakes mechanicals and hydraulic so hopefully you find this uh, video helpful and maybe you've learned something and uh, and also feel free to comment and uh, share your viewpoints and uh, maybe you can educate me on some other setups and systems that you all might run so appreciate you watching have a great day and uh and be safe out there thanks